Ever pondered the chilling depths to which human cruelty can sink? Imagined how deep one can plunge into the terrifying abyss of pure evil? Step into the harrowing spring of 1945, April 15th, as the 11th British Armored Division unveils the horror of Bergen-Belsen, southwest of Bergen, Nazi Germany. A grim symbol of Nazi brutality, they uncover the nightmarish scene of 13,000 unburied souls and nearly 60,000 prisoners, sick and on the brink of death. In the dark roster of captured Nazi culprits, one name casts a long shadow of terror, Irma Greece. Born into an ordinary life on October 7, 1923 in Rechen of the Weimar Republic, Irma, the third of five children in a dairy working family, saw her world plunge into darkness with the rise of Adolf Hitler and the Nazi regime in January 1933. Three years later, tragedy struck as Irma's mother ended her life, catapulting the young girl into a vortex of chaos and despair. At just 15, Greece stepped into the shadows as a nursing assistant at the Hohenlichen Sanatorium, under the watchful eye of a Nazi, Karl Gebhardt, dreaming of nursing. Yet her dreams twisted into nightmares, as her academic struggles sent her to a dairy farm in Furstenberg by 17. Yet the darkest chapter of her life began in July 1942, upon her arrival at Ravensbrück concentration camp, a grim fortress built by Nazis exclusively for women. Here, amidst despair, over 92,000 women perished from the 132,000 who entered its gates. By March 1945, the camp was a living nightmare, claiming 250 to 300 souls daily to starvation, thirst, and typhus. In just three and a half weeks, Grace's barbarity branded her as the Beast of Belson, a name as chilling as the cold grasp of death itself. Irma Grace stands as a sinister symbol of the Nazi regime's horrors, her story a haunting testament to the depths of human cruelty. Emerging from the chaos of the Weimar Republic, the early years of Irma Grace were shadowed by hardship. Born on October 7, 1923, in Rechen, she was the third of five, raised in a family of dairy workers, wrestling with the grips of poverty. Amidst her formative years, she bore witness to the storm of political upheaval, watching as Adolf Hitler and his Nazi party seized power in January 1933, a harbinger of the darkness to come. A pivotal shift that would ominously sculpt the path of her life. At the tender age of 13 in 1936, Darkness descended upon Irma's life, marking the beginning of a tragic chapter. Shattered by the discovery of her father's infidelity with a local pub owner's daughter, her mother succumbed to despair, ending her own life in a tragic act of betrayal. This harrowing event cast a long shadow over Irma, forging a heart of stone and rendering her vulnerable to the seductive call of radical ideologies. In 1939, at the vulnerable age of 15, Irma stepped into the foreboding halls of the Hohenlichen Sanatorium, embarking on a dark journey as a nursing assistant. Under the ominous shadow of Karl Gebhard, the sanatorium's medical superintendent and a fervent Nazi, she found herself enveloped in a world of dark ideologies. Irma harbored dreams of nursing, yet her academic struggles cast a shadow over her aspirations, leaving her ambitions unfulfilled. Thus, at 17, Irma's fate took a turn to the mundane, as she found herself tethered to a butter machine on a dairy farm in Furstenberg. In July 1942, Irma's path veered into the shadows, leading her to the grim gates of Ravensbrück concentration camp. Ravensbrück, the Nazis' sole main camp for women, became a chilling waypoint for 132,000 women from across Europe, each passing through its ominous gates. Over 92,000 women met their grim end within its confines, a haunting testament to the ruthless inhumanity of the Nazi regime. These formative horrors molded Irma into the embodiment of terror, transforming her into a monstrous figure within the Nazi regime. Irma Gress's tale is a stark warning of the dark journey from personal tragedy and chaos to becoming a harbinger of evil. From unassuming origins, Irma Gray set forth on a path that plunged her deep into the very heart of darkness. In her teenage years, Irma stepped into the shadowy world of medical care, training as a nursing assistant at the Hohenlichen Sanatorium. Here she found herself under the watchful eye of Karl Gebhard, the sanatorium's medical superintendent and a notorious Nazi. 
Dreaming of nursing, Irma's aspirations were dashed by academic shortcomings, leading her to the dairy farms of Furstenberg in 1941. Yet, in July 1942, her life spiraled into a sinister descent. Irma Grace stepped into the grim reality of Ravensbrück concentration camp. Opened in May 1939, Ravensbrück stood as the sole main camp for women, a dark creation of the Nazi regime. It was a realm of horrors beyond imagination. Altogether, 132,000 women from across Europe were forced through the nightmarish gates of the camp. Among them, Poles, Russians, Jews, Gypsies, and others were drawn into its shadow, a diverse tapestry of victims. Over 92,000 of these women would never emerge from their harrowing ordeal alive. Ravensbrück, a sinister ground where human life was mercilessly robbed of dignity and worth. The women captive within its walls faced forced labor, inhumane medical experiments, and savage punishments. Trapped in perpetual terror, they existed in the shadow of uncertainty, unsure if the dawn would ever grace them again. Irma Grace became a cog in this grotesque machinery of death and despair. In this abyss of suffering and loss, Irma's true nature unfurled in all its dark splendor. Her smile hit a thrill for the fright, the crueler the job, the brighter her delight. They called her, Beautiful Beast, a smile that chilled, the prettier she got, the greater the thrill. Beauty on the surface, a monster within, her touch brought no comfort, just fear and a grin. Her smile, a chilling Reich emblem, blonde hair couldn't hide the monster's regime. In Ravensbrück's shadow, beauty turned beast, a warden's smile, a prisoner's least feast. The abyss stared back, a chilling delight, her darkness had just begun to take flight. The war's fire raged, her darkness did too. Beautiful beast. To Belson a nightmare anew. Belson's horror awaited her next, a tale of true terror, but best left for now, complex. March 1945 saw Irma Grzez's arrival at Bergen-Belsen, where she would soon carve out her terrifying legacy, earning a monstrous moniker along the way. The camp became a nightmarish realm, plagued by starvation, thirst, and deadly typhus outbreaks, unleashing sheer terror upon its inmates. Each day the grim toll of death reached staggering heights, with an average of 250 to 300 souls succumbing to the chilling grip of despair. In a mere three and a half weeks, Irma Grace's reign of terror was so relentless that the prisoners christened her the Beast of Belson, a title that still sends shivers down spines. With her savage deeds and utter disdain for humanity, she carved her name into history's darkest chapters as one of the most notorious female Nazi war criminals, a haunting reminder of terror's depths. As spring thawed the frozen earth, it also thawed the reign of terror. The Beast of Belson's days were numbered, the grip of fear finally loosening its hold. Amidst the echoes of liberation, fear's own captor met her fate. On April 17, 1945, just two days after Bergen-Belsen's liberation, Irma Gress fell into the hands of British forces. Bound by the shadows of their deeds, she and her cohorts faced the chilling reckoning of their Nazi horrors, forced to confront the haunting legacy of their actions. When pressed by an English journalist to account for her sins, her reply sent shivers down spines. In chilling conviction, she declared, our duty was to eradicate those deemed antisocial, ensuring Germany's future. The fear of such rationalized cruelty echoed through her words. Her remorseless words unveiled the depths of her indoctrination, a chilling testament to the grip of fear and ideology. The looming specter of justice cast its shadow as the wheels of retribution slowly turned, striking fear into the hearts of the guilty. From wielding power over life and death to becoming a captive of her own making, Irma Gress's fall from grace sent ripples of fear through the ranks of tyranny. Confronting the chilling echoes of her deeds, she braced for the reckoning. The lives silenced, families shattered, and pain inflicted. Fear's icy grip tightened as she faced the weight of her atrocities. Though her reign of terror met a sudden halt, the indelible scars she etched into the souls of those who crossed her path continued to pulse with fear's haunting memory. The bars caged the beast of Belson, her once formidable power to inflict fear and agony now silenced, but the chilling memory of her reign still lingered in the shadows. Irma Grace's tyranny in Bergen-Belsen may have ceased, yet her atrocities, etched in history's darkest corners, continue to evoke fear's chilling embrace. 
Her monstrous legacy lingers, a haunting reminder of humanity's darkest abyss, where hatred and fear breed horrors that echo through time. Irma Gress faced the chilling truth, her victims' voices echoing through undeniable evidence as justice's grip tightened around her. As the gavel fell on Irma's Belson trial, fear hung heavy in the air, a palpable tension gripping the courtroom where justice and retribution collided. Even as the damning evidence piled against her, she stood defiant, unyielding in the face of fear, dismissing the accusations with chilling nonchalance. Branded as the epitome of terror within the camp, her name echoed with the chilling label of the most monstrous woman, instilling fear in the hearts of all who heard. Irma's chilling nonchalance pierced the courtroom air as she confessed to beatings but denied the blood on her hands, casting a shadow of fear over the truth yet to be unveiled. Irma's desperate denials echoed through the courtroom, but fear's grip held firm. The truth, unyielding, pierced through her lies, leaving her defense shattered. On November 17th, the day of reckoning loomed, fear's shadow lengthening as justice closed in. In a chilling verdict echoing the cries for justice, the British military court decreed Irma Gress's fate, death by hanging, sealing her legacy in fear's darkest embrace. At 22, her final chapter closed on December 13, 1945, her parting words Schnell, a chilling echo of urgency in the face of fear's relentless grasp. Irma Gress, the youngest woman to meet judicial death under British law in the 20th century, her fate etched in fear's annals as a chilling reminder of humanity's depths, a chilling testament to the depths of her crimes, casting shadows of fear across the conscience of humanity. The tale of Irma Grace sends shivers down the spine, a chilling reminder of the darkest corners of human capability. Irma Grace's acts under the Nazi flag serve as a chilling testament to the abyss of human depravity when fueled by unchecked hatred and bigotry. Beyond the chilling deeds of Irma Grace, let us not forget the haunting toll, lives lost and unfathomable suffering endured within the shadows of Nazi death camps. Every life snuffed out was a tale silenced, a potential left unfulfilled, a chilling reminder of futures stolen and lights dimmed prematurely. Let the fear of forgetting drive us to remember the immense human toll of this harrowing chapter in history. Echoes of fear compel us to remember both victims and monsters, honoring the former while condemning the latter to the depths of history's darkest abyss. In honoring the victims, we confront the chilling reality of the monsters among us, vowing never to forget the depths of human cruelty and to stand guard against its resurgence.